Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the aftermatch reaction from Republic of Ireland nil, Wales won from the Cardiff City Stadium. David Brooks with the goal. That's our sixth game without scoring, and it's becoming harder and harder to make excuses for this team. Um, they go another game without a win as well, without gathering any points. Um, this game, again, like the rest of the games in the Nations League, I felt as though we've been definitely in the games, but we just hadn't found a way of executing a goal or executing any sort of passages of play to create goals. I think maybe we've had too much of the tried and tested in there and they haven't performed for long parts now. But look, we weren't bad today. I felt as though we gave as good as we got for large parts of the game. Obviously, they have a world-class player in Gareth Bale. We had a makeshift back four, which I understand, and I don't want to keep making excuses for this team because it's hard enough to try and watch them continuously play like this. Um, I don't really think it's the manager's fault either. I think it's what he has to work with. Um, he's put his ideas forward. You can see that we're trying to create these passages of play that he's trying to implement on the team, but it's just as though we just look like we don't know how to play football because when we get to a certain area of the pitch, we just look lost. Like I, I think back to the Robbie Brady strikes, you know, why is why is he not keeping that ball low and just trying to hit the target? And, you know, you'd be hoping then that if he hits the target, obviously it goes in because he's usually very, very accurate from that position. But he fires over with one and then he fires well over with the other. And it's just a case of nobody has any sort of composure in the opposition's box. Um, Brady, I thought, actually was very good throughout the game. And I thought he set up Shane Duffy with uh, a great chance, which I thought Duffy on a normal day, I don't know what's going on with him at the moment, but on a normal day, I think he heads that home and we're going in 1-0. It, it kind of reminded me of the chance that he had against Denmark. I, I would normally put my house and Shane Duffy to score them type of headers. And it just seemed to be the story of the game. And just when your look's not going for you, nothing is, is it? So we were just, it was constantly like that. I mean, our only real threats were in the first half were Robbie Brady and, and, and Shane Duffy. Um, you know, I thought Adam Eda was getting bullied throughout the whole game. I thought you know the ref was giving them everything and allowing their players to foul them and not giving us much in return. I thought Malumbi had his quietest game for Ireland so far. It just didn't look like he could get into the game at all. Whether that's been rusty from playing and not playing there, rather with uh, Brighton, I don't know. But it's just getting to a point where it's just getting very, very frustrating to watch this team and, uh, and look at players at what they offer. I mean, Horgan, yes, he's a grafter. McLean, a grafter. But are they enough? Are they going to give us that quality that we need to get goals? I think with uh, with Ida, I think he just needs more time in the first team to try and adapt to, to new ways because I think he hasn't really played too much football in terms of his club football with Norwich so I think he will get games with them and then he'll start doing well for us but I think he's got real kind of raw goal scoring ability about him whereas I don't think many of the others do if you look around the rest of the team we're obviously missing players like Callum Robinson and, and Aaron Connolly I think in that first team but yeah, kind of going in at half time at nil nil. I was thinking that we probably should have been ahead. I think they had a couple of chances. Uh, Gareth Bale had a free kick that was um, went straight over, but it looked like it was fizzing in. It was a great strike, to be fair, but it went over at the end. But it had Darren Randolph worried. It had me worried watching on the TV as well. Um, I can't really remember any of the other chances that spring to mind. I definitely felt as though we had the better of the chances in the first half, and then the second half. I mean. <sighs> It's you're just thinking, like, all right. If we could imagine, we could get a goal here, and uh, that's how bad it's become. It's it's becoming like we're praying that we can actually score. And I, never mind get a win, but just hopefully just get a goal. And you struggle to think of where that goal might come from when you look at the, you know, the team because when we get into chances, we just we just don't do anything with them, and it's just it's very very annoying. Even. You know, the under-21s earlier today when they had chances one-on-one, -on -one, Michael Obafemi missing and stuff like that. You just wonder where are these goals going to come from. And I hope I'm wrong and I hope with our fortunes change soon. It's just a spell of bad luck at the moment because it's just it's just hard to watch players like Jeff Hendrick who's just sauntering around. He spent more time kicking their players than he did actually trying to make something happen for our team. And um, was rightfully sent off, which we'll come to later on. But 
I think it's it's just it's frustrating. Like I'm sure you can hear it in my voice here, like talking about it and trying to watch it and find positives. Yes, we're playing well in games, but we're not scoring enough goals or scoring any goals. We're we're playing well in games and we're 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 definitely in games with teams, but they're the ones scoring the goals. And once we concede, head drops, that's it. And uh, you know, defensive lapses as well. I mean, you look at the goal defensive lapses there I don't know what the centre backs are doing there Duffy and Long um, the ball comes across and uh, Bale heads it back into an area but when it first comes across Duffy and Long are going for the same ball and then it comes across then to Bale where Doherty doesn't have a clue where he is and then it gets headed across and Brooks is there and he finishes the header and you know it's 1-0 to Wales and from that point you're thinking oh no you know whenever we can see we never really well these days I know in the Mick we did but I'm not and I'm not saying bring back Mick or in part of that brigade I'm just saying so we don't seem to show any fight when we go a goal down we just seem to be like all right okay uh, we have to score and then there's no real urgency about the team he brought on Jason Knight and he brought on other subs to try and make it th- make things happen but Ultimately, it just wasn't. It wasn't enough, and we just didn't. We just didn't have enough quality. Um, it's hard for me to put into words. Like I'm sitting here, I'm really. It's been a really bad day of football for Ireland, and for me personally with Shelburne getting relegated. Well, it's just been a really annoying day, and just my brain is fried trying to um, watch the teams I support and love, and not being able to see them win games, and it's just been a real disappointment this whole day and, and, and I suppose the, the Nations League has been a bit of a disaster so far but look at least we started seeing this, the signs of other players being brought into the squad I think Jack Byrne he may get a, a look in I thought he done well when he came on for uh, Robbie Brady even though he didn't get that much minutes but I thought he done well I thought James Collins done really well when he came on actually and uh, just showed that he can play at this level because I think after the Georgia game a lot of people gave up on him but I thought he came in, he was positive, and he started trying to make ch- chances. I think he got about three shots on target, which, you know, is positive because you look at the rest of the players and not many of them are doing that. Um, the other subs then that came on, I mean, O'Dowd didn't really do much, Howard didn't really do much. Um, so it's just, it is it is hard. Um, and I am trying to be positive, and I'm trying to find ways that going forward we, we can... We can look at things and be happy about it, but it's just that it's just hard when we're not scoring goals and you know we're just relying simply on set pieces and we had chances to score tonight and we just we were just you know not clinical whatsoever in front of the goal and then towards the end when we're starting to try and maybe get um, a foothold on things and it was literally the last kick of the game I mean but it was all us. Then they break forward and from a sloppy pass from Jack Byrne and Jeff Hendrick has to take one for the team. But I think he was looking for a way out before that when he tried to kick one of the Welsh players when he got past him before. I think he just needs to spell out the team and you know maybe we'd be better for it if someone like Jason Knight or something came in there in his place and just see how he does. I'm not saying that Jeff Hendrick's international career is over. I'm just saying I'd like to see maybe one of these players come in and see how they they can do. You know your Malumbies or or Knights or someone like that who can maybe you know start their international career now I know Malumbi will be missing the next game as will Hendrick so it'll be interesting to see who goes with midfield can someone like a Josh Cullen step up now that would be interesting to see but ultimately it's, at the end of the day it's another defeat and uh, yeah uh, I would like to know what you guys think what the fans think um, you know in regards to the performance, did you think it was a good performance, or ultimately are we just going to be judged on the fact that Ireland didn't score again, and that's going to be the argument, not the fact that our actual performance wasn't actually that bad, but we're just not offering enough quality. I'd like to hear your thoughts, and anyway. let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoy our content. Don't forget to drop a like on the video as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.